Okay, looking at this topic, metric distance conversion with decimal values. Again, it's going to be a conversion, so we'll be using a table, but this is a metric. So what do we have here? 2.3 kilo kilometers from Lamar's house to the nearest mailbox. How far is that in meters? And we always want to make sure we include the correct unit in our answer. So that means we're going to have to pay attention to selecting our units in our answer. We can't just enter a number or it'll be counted wrong. This is an important uh, piece of information here. I recommend you put it in your notebook so you can copy that. Maybe you can print it out, whatever you need, because this is important information to be aware of. And something else that's very important is this bit of information right here. This is another good note, good set of notes to have in your notebook. When do we multiply and when do we divide? To convert from a smaller to a larger, we divide. So smaller to larger is divide. Larger to smaller is a multiply. So what are we doing here? From kilometers to meters. Kilometers are larger than meters. So that means we're going from large to small. From large to small we multiply. So that's where we get this piece right here, 2.3. We're going from uh, kilometers to meters, so it's 1,000. So we multiply 2.3 times 1,000. Remember the rule, three zeros means we move the decimal three places. One, two, three, fill in a couple of zeros, and there's our answer. So 2,300 meters. We got to put that unit in our answer. Let's look at another example. Here we've got a tree in the backyard, it's 8.6 meters high. How high is that in centimeters? So again, we're going from large to small. So that means we multiply. And we're going from meters to centimeters. So let's find that. Here's centimeters and meters. There's 100 centimeters in a meter, so that means we're going to multiply by 100. So 8.6 times 100 makes 860 centimeters. There's our answer. Make sure you enter that unit. Okay, practice time. Here's one for you. Pause the video, work out your answer, and then revisit the video to see the answer revealed. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you did a division here because we're going from decimeters to meters, smaller to larger. So that means in this case we divide. So our answer is 1.39 meters. Okay, have fun mastering this topic.